Hello and welcome to Tonalist Paintings by M. Francis McCarthy. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. You could call me Mike if you like. Uh, today uh, we are doing a painting called North of Town and this is an 8x10. We did the study back on uh, last Saturday. Uh, today is January 3rd, 2016 and uh, no February 3rd oh my god that's right we're already out of January and well into February so um, that means uh, yeah, we're looking at the end of summer down here coming coming up quick you can see leaves falling a bit from some of the trees and, uh, not that we get much of a change of color out here in New Zealand most of the trees here are, are evergreen but um, you can tell the season's changing. Summer's getting on there a bit, and uh, it's always a bit uh, sad. But uh, hey, there you go. Um, you know, funny enough, this uh, I, I I back up everything I do, and uh, it looks like I deleted all my preparatory files for the last two uh, videos I've done on the uh, the blog. So um, you know, bummer. Uh, they're up on YouTube. So I guess it really doesn't matter, but uh, yeah, still don't like that. Uh, sometimes uh, you can outsmart yourself with those backups. Um, what have I been doing in the studio? That's what you want to know. Well, like I said, I think uh, probably on Saturday um, I'm going after 25 more um, studies after toneless masters. Not just toneless masters. To be honest, I'm doing a lot of Barbizon guys too, and. Uh, I tend to merge them in my head, to be honest. Um, I do think that the American Tonalist School is a bit richer in color generally, but not always, not always. Um, and of course, I, I've talked at length about how much I love people like Camille Corot, um, especially his edges and compositions are really cool. And I find that that's one place that I learn a lot on these um, studies especially I've been doing all these drawings so I'm probably getting like I don't know seven to nine drawings done a day something like that um, so I'm done with all the drawing I call them drawings I'm doing it with paint on a board so you could call it an underpainting and that would be uh, technically I guess correct although you know let's not stress the language I guess um, one thing though that uh, I really notice when I'm reviewing some of those uh, videos at the end of the day is that uh, you know it, it really brings home uh, certain comp compositional elements that are working for these guys and the other thing of course I notice is that the paintings I tend to select are the types of uh, to do these studies are the types of paintings that uh, exhibit compositions that are, are like I would do too so it's a bit insular that way but hey you know there's no escaping from what you are while you're here and uh, I don't even try to be honest um, but I do observe and I'm always observing my work and I'm always trying to get it better and uh, I think I talked last week uh, or maybe it was a week before uh, a bit about composition and the, how when I when I feel that I'm failing in a painting I, I think it's nine times out of ten it's some compositional error that I made that uh, while I was doing the painting I was telling myself everything was fine and that it's going to work out and that I'm going to overcome but the thing about compositional problems is that they're there uh, it doesn't matter you know how much glazing you do or scumbling or value changing um, if there's um, some issues with the way the eye is being led through the painting uh, those aren't going to go away uh, no matter how much technique you exhibit so um, it's kind of like uh, uh, I don't know some of the uh, musical productions you might hear these days where you know it's so slick and perfect and the musicians are the greatest in the world but you know the song composition itself if it's not great if it's not moving eh, it doesn't really matter what you do with it you know and uh, that's something to really keep in mind. I probably won't be uh, writing about. I think I wrote about that a couple weeks ago, and you know, I guess sorry if I don't uh, keep track all that well. There is a search feature on the blog, and it's uh, something I recommend everybody uses. I was talking to uh, uh, an, an online friend uh, about uh, palettes, and uh, 
I knew I'd done a blog post. I was able to find it through the search. So um, if you have a question or query about something you think I might have talked about in the past, but it's not in the tags, uh, try the search feature. That's my recommendation. One day, I mean, you know, if I had uh, this full-time uh, assistant uh, that I uh, envisage, uh, that's the sort of thing I'd have him do, you know, tagging all the blogs, you know, uh, as it is, uh, I've gotten to the point where I'm using the same set of tags for every blog post, and, uh, you know, it'd be nice if, uh, at some point to go in there and, and put what, what various topics were discussed, but, uh, you get what you pay for, folks. That's one of the reasons why, and I have not been uh, working very hard on this book uh, that I've been talking about, but um, that doesn't mean it's not going to happen either. Um, I've, I've really put a lot of uh, writing out there, and I do believe that it could be repurposed into a book. Um, the main conflict I run into is that I'm quite occupied. Um, wh even when I'm not painting, I've got things like editing photos I've taken of my paintings. I've got setting up reference for new paintings I want to do. Um, I've got this blog. I've got uh, editing the videos and making videos of all the paintings I've done. And uh, to be honest, I really uh, get maybe a couple, two, three hours a night uh, where I might uh, watch a little TV with my wife or do a little reading and other than that I'm pretty much working all the time so um, bear with me it's it's really the book is really something I would love it if uh, I could get a collaborator actually that is somebody that is passionate about making books and um, if any of you or that is that person uh, don't hesitate to contact me and uh, you know we can uh, we can hustle real quick otherwise um, it's going to move a bit slower because um, I'm going to have to shift things around and make it a priority. In fact, it occurred to me I might have to uh, take a break from the blog uh, to really get it done because um, this doesn't take up gigantic amounts of time, but it takes up a bit of brain space and it's time I could be using to work on that book. So it's just something I've thought about, but um, there's no stress. It's not like the world is, you know clamoring for another book but uh, I do th I do see this book in my mind and I do believe that uh, uh, my struggle and my journey as a painter um, could uh, definitely translate into a book that could be helpful to uh, you people out there so you know don't hold your breath but don't think that it won't happen either it's definitely gonna happen as long as I'm breathing you know and uh, existing sometime over the next five years. I'm sure it's going to happen. <laughs> anyway, I can see th this is a very rambly one today, but you know, there you go, guys. Um, thanks for joining us today. I can see we're getting close to the end of this video, and uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. You can check out my work at landscapepainter.co.nz, or NZ, as we say in the U.S., uh, uh, I will be back on Saturday, so look forward to it, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.